going on, dudes? Welcome to an unboxing. I don't think we've ever done an unboxing on the channel before. Um, but this is a pretty big one. I'm trying to get my pocket knife open so I can actually open the darn box. So this is my new laptop. This is replacing the MacBook Pro that I've had probably for the last five and a half years. It's a here. It's actually right, right down there. You can see that with stickers on it. So it's a late 2011, 13 inch. MacBook Pro. I didn't get the base model. I got a slightly upgraded one. It had um, Core i5, I think like 2600 or something with 4 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive, and Intel HD 3000 graphics, I think. Whatever. It was some integrated GPU, so it sucked. Um, and uh, finally died on me um, because it's a Mac. Really no way to fix it, or especially since it's so old. There's no replacement motherboards and stuff like that for it. So I had to get a new laptop and there it is with my crap, other crap on it. So let's, I've uh, never done this before. This is the first unboxing ever, so I'm taking it off. This is a pretty sweet laptop. This is one of the best, better bang for the buck laptops out there. Um, especially since it's uh, few years old but that doesn't mean it's gonna it's declining in performance so I'm gonna flip the camera around and uh, we'll make this easier for us okay, so we're doing the unboxing here um, I got one part of it open let's try to get the other piece open here I might need to cut it pocket knife best way to open these things this is an old one this is one I got at Cabela's in Maine Many years ago. Ouch. And it's sharp. Which is a good thing. But I can't get the darn thing open. They're hard to open. There we go. There we go. Got it open. So let's just put a little slice there. Do this little slice over there. And here we go. So I got this on Amazon. Thank you to Amazon Prime for two-day shipping. It's always nice. All right, and there it is. So yeah, this is a Dell Dell laptop. This one came out in I think mid 2015. Might be a bit later than that. Oh man, dude, that's heavy. This laptop weighs about six pounds, so it's not like an ultra light portable type thing. So yeah, let's put this, let's bring this over to the desk and uh, we'll do this properly. Okay, so we're fully zoomed out here so we can see, or so you guys can see everything. So here's the box. Ugh. It's pretty big. I think this is, there's tape up here I gotta open, so let's get this. See, so yeah, this is the first unboxing I've ever done on the channel, which is kind of cool. This video is not sponsored, by the way. was not sent to me by Dell. So in case anyone's wondering about that. Let's try to get this guy, this little flap here open. It's proving to be somewhat difficult to do. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So now I think I go down like this. I go up. Ah, here we go. Okay, so let's get some of the less interesting things out first. So here we have the power brick, which is huge. Wow. That's cool. It even has like a, it has, I might as well take it out. So I'm not going to open this. So it has like a rubber clip around it. So I guess you can clip it to things. That's pretty cool. Nice long cable too, which is always nice to see. Um, here's the other half of it. Which way does it go? Out? Oh, it's sealed. Why is this one sealed and the other one wasn't? Well, rip it open, I guess. And yes, there is a garbage can behind me. I'm not just throwing this on the floor. So yeah, here's the other side. So this side's a little bit shorter, which is okay. I'm okay with that because it has a nice long end there. Let's put this over here without crushing my phone with it. And that's really all there is. So let's get this open here. 
Okay, so this is nice. We have recyclable shielding. Let's say. Nah, that's not important. Put that down there. Ah, here it is. Okay, so we have instruction manual, quick start guide, um, which looks like it got stuck inside the warranty information. That's good. Let's see if there's anything we can see right off the bat here. Uh, nothing worth talking about. <laughs> it's a warranty, I assume. And here it is. Oh boy. So this is my first actually good laptop. Um, that appears to be everything else in there. There's some like some anti-humidity thing in there, so this one doesn't get humid. So it looks like they are losing a little bit of points for eco-friendly here because they have some plastic. Alright, so here it is. Let's slide this guy out. So this is right here. This is the Dell 75, I guess I'll show it this way so you can see the logo. The Dell 7559 um, laptop. This is, there's multiple configurations of it, so it's not even really a base configuration. There are lots of configurations of it. Um, this one has a Core i5-6300HQ. Um, it's got eight gigs of DDR3 RAM, which is pretty nice. So I'll be able to have like three or four tabs open in Chrome. <laughs> um, so let's see, we have a nice red highlight accent there. Gives us sort of power. Look. Even the uh, even the, the heatsink blades in there are red, which is kind of cool. And on the back too. So um, yeah. Oh, and this is nice. So the back plate opens with just one screw. So it's it looks like it's fairly easy to upgrade. There is an extra M.2 slot in there, which is nice. This model has, this configuration has a, like I said, a Core i5-6300HQ, um, 6th gen um, Skylake processor, which is nice. Um, it has 8 gigs of RAM. It's got a 256 gig P, uh, S, uh, SATA SSD, and there is an M.2 slot in there, so I could upgrade that and add something in the future. Um, it, the memory is, is single channel right now, which means that I can add another 8 gig stick without having to buy all new RAM. So I could go up to 16 pretty darn easily. Um, it's got a 15.6 inch display. So this thing is nice and big, which is pretty cool. And it's got a GTX 960M in it. And if you look closely, you can see there are cooling fans right behind there. You can probably see those. So yeah, so let's open this guy up. Ooh. Okay, so we have keyboard protector all right look at this so I'm gonna switch over to my phone here so I can guys get a more personal view okay. okay so this is what it looks like from the inside so it's got a really nice um, matte finish here it is plastic it's all plastic but it's it's a nice it's nice stuff this is very similar to the finish on like a black magic pocket cinema camera so it is very nice indeed we have a nice size trackpad Ooh, it actually feels quite nice we have left and right click which is good pretty good keyboard actually feels pretty good it's not that it's not very mushy it's got a nice I wish it had a slightly more um, solid cl uh, click one on, on the key press but it, for a laptop it's not bad and here we have a sticker so let's see we got whoa dear so we got let's see a discrete graphics card so yeah this GTX 960M has four gigs of RAM we got Bluetooth it's got AO2.11 dual band wireless, eat, uh, wireless internet, 15.6 inch display. This thing is nice, nice and big. I'm happy about that. It's got some sort of subwoofer, and uh, it's pretty. It's not that bad in terms of thickness. It's not that bad. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's not. It's not supposed to be a, like a thin and light. It's supposed to be just a nice, um, nice configuration. So we have. The Core i5, the 6300HQ, and the GTX 960M. So look at that. That is not bad. And then it looks like we have... Okay, I was thinking this might be a speaker bar up here, but it is not. That's okay. I'm okay with that. And it looks like... Yeah, so this does have... The keyboard does have backlighting, which is pretty darn nice. Got the power button over there. And let's take a look at I.O. So on this side, we have 
if you guys can see that. We have a soup we have two Thunderbolt sorry, not Thunderbolt, we have two USB 3.0. I think those are 3.0 jacks, type A. We have a power over here. We have cooling here. And we have a combo mic head jack there. And on this side, we have HDMI. We have gigabit ethernet. We have a Kensington lock. Another USB 3 with fast charging there. That's pretty nice. And an SD card slot. So that's actually quite nice. Um, the SD card slot will come in any. So let's see if it turns on. I'd be surprised if it did. Yeah, it looks like the battery is totally dead. Oh, nope. No, it's not. Hey, hey. So let's see what we got here. Looks like we have a, we have a webcam there. It's supposed to be a somewhat decent webcam, 720p webcam. And this is a matte finish monitor. And we got the Dell logo. Yeah, this is a nice. This is nice. It's got a. I don't even, I don't remember the exact dimensions of this, but it is full 1080p monitor. It's not 4K. The there is a higher version you can go with that has a touchscreen and a 4K monitor. And there we go. So right into Windows setup. So, so yeah. Okay, so that about does it for this unboxing of the Dell Inspiron 7559. It's a, it looks like it's a pretty darn good thing. Build quality is nice. It's very clean. Uh, the finish on it is quite attractive. And I love the red accent, so it gives that nice light gamer look, which I'm, you know, I'm, I'm down with. And it sort of fits the accent in my computer case, which is red. So. So yeah, so that about wraps up this unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more unboxing videos like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button if you enjoyed this. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. And uh, check out the uh, CSGO playlist that'll be at the, the uh, ending picture, the ending thing of this video. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.